Hello everybody, Lawnmower Detective here, and this is yet another layer of the onion, which is the Lawnmower Detective. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to figure out just how long of a blade you need to replace your worn out blade on your bandsaw, if you don't know exactly the length of the blade you need. So, stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's say, for instance, you're experiencing the same thing that I am. I'm 53 years old, and I can't remember diddly squat sometimes. <laughs> so we need to figure out what size blade we need to replace our worn out bandsaw blade. So let me give you a little insight here. You can do this several ways. You can run a string around there and figure out just exactly how long you need your blade. But, you know, having been a computer-aided draftsman and I've gone to college for things, not bragging at all because I can't remember anything, um, we're going to use a little math here. So what we're going to do is figure out the size of this wheel, which is... 18 inches okay so we know this is an 18 inch bandsaw so then the next thing we need to figure out is the distance from what's called a tangent so basically here to here right and i've done the math before i've measured it before i should say and from that point to that point is 38 inches Okay, so in the next part of the video, since we know that this is a, an 18 inch diameter and we know that it's 38 inches from this tangent point to this tangent point, we have all the information we need to figure out the length of the entire blade. And I promise you, when we figure out the length of the entire blade so I can order a new one, I'm going to write it inside the door over there so I, I never forget <laughs> again. So stay with me and figure it out. So ladies and gentlemen, I have taken the opportunity to sketch on a block of wood, which I will clarify later, that the diameter of the top wheel is 18 inches since this is a 18 inch bandsaw the distance from the center of the top wheel to the center of the bottom wheel is 38 inches so that gives us the information we need to solve the mathematical equation to find out what the actual length of the blade we're going to need so hang in there and we'll get through this together Oh, yeah, baby. Don't forget, it's donut time. It has been a pleasure having you all here. Please don't forget to give this video a like and please subscribe. Last but not least, click the notification bell so you will know when new videos are posted. Thanks to all of you for your support.